In this video, we're gonna learn about JavaScript arithmetic. So we've done great things, getting text and things from the user, and then working with it inside of a function, working with the document or the document object model, the DOM, to get data back onto the page, getting data out of the page, and so forth, everything manipulated by JavaScript. Well, right now, we're gonna learn a little bit about arithmetic. Okay, this will kind of bring you back to elementary school or middle school, uh, but JavaScript supports a number of different types of arithmetic. So if I made a variable, it was like x equals five, and I said let y equals six. Okay, well, I could very easily say um, x plus y. Okay, that will run this, and it JavaScript is capable of computing five plus six. Uh, and so if I said alert, and ran this, watch what happens when I go back to my browser. Okay, 11 popped up. All right, that alert box makes this little window and then 11 popped up. Well, I could do all sorts of stuff. If I said uh, X minus Y and refreshed it, uh, you can see now it's negative one that shows up. If I said X times Y, we get 30. Okay, uh, if I said X divided by Y, then we get Let's refresh that. Then we get 0.83, who knew? Okay, uh, a couple of other ones that we have, we have exponents. So what this will do is it will take a number and raise it to the exponent of another number. Okay, so this will be five to the sixth. Let's go ahead and just say five to the third. We'll, we'll cube five um, and that's 125, okay? Um, another really important one is that I can add parentheses. So for example, if I said uh, x plus y times two, okay? Either this is going to be eight times two, which is 16, or if this multiplication takes place first, which it will, um, then it would be something else, all right? In our next video, we'll talk a little bit about operator precedence. So we have addition, the addition operator, the multiplication operator, subtraction, division, exponentation, all of that, and they all have a level of precedence, which means they have an importance level, which one will get executed first if they're side by side. So right now, if I run this, it says 11, okay? Because it took y times three, which or y times two, which was six, and then it added five on top, okay? So this multiplication obviously took place before the addition. In our next video, we'll talk more about all of the levels of, of precedence and how to work with them.